Well, Edith Quaggins with us, and uh, it was 18 months ago, we think, since you last joined us when you did, which, what was the book again last time? The Magic Tunnel. The Magic Tunnel. That went well? Very well, indeed, yes. Well, it's We had to have a reprint in the middle oh, of the summer. You? Oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Well, Ginny Witch is your, your newest one now, and of course, with Hop Day coming up, that's a absolutely mm -hmm. perfect timing. It's been out for a little bit, though, but uh, today, you're here to talk about it. So, you've not only written it, you've done all the illustrations. Beautiful. Yes. Well done. That must take some time, doesn't it? It does. That's the worst part of doing the book. Is it? <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. What's the idea, though? What, what, tell us about, you know, exactly... Well, no, not exactly, but not to give it too much away, but, you know, what was the, the thought on this one? The thought was that um, when I was writing The Magic Tunnel, I thought, well, we have Hop Chine down at the railway, so why not write a book about Ginny the Witch? Hmm. And that's how it came about. I'd practically written this by the time the other one was published. Oh, right. Um, but I needed to see how that would um, sell, and it, as I say, it sold extremely well. So this tells the tale of Ginny, who's doing her night patrols with her cat Tabitha, and she has a transport systems failure, and her broomstick breaks down, and she falls onto the roof of Ant and Bee's shed, and of course they're terrified at this terrific noise. Come out, and she says that her broomstick is beyond repair, and she needs it because she's doing her patrolling. So they said, oh, we'll get Wasp, who wasn't in the last book. He's the electric train. And Wasp comes out and they're saying to him, you know, where can I get another broomstick? And they said, well, how about the magic tunnel? Because that's all decorated for Hop Tune. So that's the story that they go into the magic tunnel with all the spooky ghosts and witches <laughs> and cats. <laughs> and we should point out, of course, you're very much involved in that side of things as well. Oh, yes. I, I work in the shop as a volunteer. Down in the Laxey. And the Great Laxey Mine Railway, exactly. yes. Exactly. And then they have a special event. Every year. Every year. Yes. We, we hope to be down there, I think, for this, this year. Yes, well. 20th of, um, Sunday the 20th of October, 1 to 7. And then oh. the following Saturday, the 26th, and the following Sunday, the 27th. So we have and three days. You'll be selling the book down there? Oh, you? yes. <laughs> Good Christmas one, would you say? I think so, yes. It's... it's um, it's not part fact and part fiction like The Magic Tunnel, but this is folklore hmm. because it's based on Ginny the Witch. Fine. So uh, should people go to a website or Facebook or what if they want more information? Well, where to get it, you know? it should be on the Great Laxey Mine Railway um, website. Yeah. Um, all good bookshops in the island have now got a stock of the books um, and it's even in the museum and um, Alaman Railways. Did you print more off this time? Or yes. <laughs> And are you working on another one? I've got one up there, but I don't know whether I'll ever do it. <laughs> Watch this space.